Darren put up that website which just listed all those people that he knew had committed suicide as a result of the loss of benefits. Paul Reiki, the Scottish poet, he didn't leave a suicide note. He just left beside him on the table the letter withdrawing his benefits that then prompted him to take his own life. The DWP refuses to publish, refuses to publish the inf information from coroner's reports now on the number of people where coroners have identified loss of benefits, loss of life. That's the suffering that we've gone through. And it's understandable, you know better than me. Because the WCA deliberately designed to be degrading, isn't it? You go along, you get assessed by people who are not qualified. They don't have any specialist training in the area of disability that that person has got to be assessed for. They then get a, a ruling which, on 40% of the cases, you know, are overturned. So it takes six months to 18 months to overturn them and get your money back. And in we now know on 70% of the cases where someone's represented, they win their appeal. On the HIV cases now, it's a hundred percent. But in the meantime, in between losing that decision, you lose your benefits and your appeal, you starve them. You starve. That's why people are taking their own life as a result of this system. And it just goes on, doesn't it? The bedroom tax. They tell us they want us to work. And what do they then do? What did Maria Miller do? Close down the red boy factories. Yeah. They don't want us to work, they want us to work for nothing. Yeah. That's yeah. what work fair is all about. Yeah. That's why they threaten people with sanctions. That's why sanctions have gone up in four years from 100,000 people being sanctioned a year to a million. Forcing people into employment, poverty wages, or actually on terms of work fair, no wages. Now we had a term for that, didn't we? Working for no wages called slavery, isn't it? Yeah. That's, a lot of that's exactly what this system is all about. It's about scapegoating <coughs> and it's about forcing people into unpaid work or low paid work for exploitation. That's what we've experienced over the last period. And I just want to say this. I just want to thank you. I want to thank every member of DFAT. Every member of Black Triangle, all those who are involved in the wild petition as well. Because what you've done is you've confounded them. They thought they could introduce these cuts because they thought people with disabilities were defenseless, voiceless, without any strength to fight back. And what you've done is you've refound the disability movement in this country. And you've shown to people we're not taking it anymore. We're going to fight back. We have got a voice and we will be heard. The Wild Petition forced the debate into Parliament by 100,000 signatures. Deepak, you have destroyed Atos. Every time you turned up outside those sponges and creeps officers, yeah. those people who ripped this state off, Every time you did, you put the fear of God into them so, so much that they had to withdraw from the contract. But now, exactly as Roger said, we've got to go further.